a light. Top floor of the tower. For. Yes, thanks for asking. How are you feeling? Sleep well? What do you want with those papers? Why, I aim to use them to continue important work that a man's tragic death put on hold. Alexander was studying the Catriona Plague. I'll use his notes to produce medication, perhaps a cure, or at least a vaccine. Mm -hmm. Strictly humanitarian motivations, is that it? No, nope, strictly selfish ones. The mighty would pay willingly for such a remedy. Can you imagine how much? Take Radovid, for instance. Why, he might even consider forgetting my past associations with the Lodge. You're either incredibly gullible, or you're trying to play me again. Whatever do you mean? Radovid has one objective, to defeat Emir. Curing Catriona, stopping the plague, won't help him do that. So he'll either burn you at the stake with those notes among the kindling, or he'll make you use them to create a weapon. Don't be ridiculous. Bacteria cannot be controlled. Not yet. But it's possible in theory, isn't it? In theory, it's just as possible for a Dachshund to impregnate a she-wolf. I don't have time to debate this, Geralt. I'm going to see Radovid, whether you like it or not. It's your conscience. But you do know hundreds, thousands could die. What of it? What difference will it make if Nilfgaard's legions die by steel or because of some fucking germs? None. A plague can go wrong, go wild. A sword won't. That's the difference. Shut up for a moment and look at me. See this? Bedbugs, Geralt. Bloody bedbugs. I, Kira Metz, advisor to Foltest, a member of the Lodge of Sorceresses, have bedbugs. Think what you will, but I'll not stay in this bloody swamp one day more. Not one day. I shall cross the Pontar, and that means Radovid's men will find me sooner or later. Don't you understand? I don't have a choice. I will have to parley. I'm not one to judge. Whatever you think is right. Farewell, Geralt of Rivia. I hope... I truly hope you find your Ciri.
their roach.
Hey there. Slow now. Take it easy. Faster. Come on, Roach.
having bad dreams. <coughs> Trusty arms for all sorts, steel swords and strong maces for the menfolk, and grave knuckle dusters for the ladies. Show me your wares. Wild hunt, take them all. Gods have turned from us! Come on, come on. Sack of flour, be no old here for the winner. No one out there wants to seize this chance. For brushwood, what's your business? Bloody Baron, know your ear, huntsman. That some fiend prowls the thickets. What am I to heat my hut for? Ah!
the young ones. At least, you don't, don't let them go hungry. Get it? No, you know. You just gotta sweep my little eye. They give you a nod. Come on.
Seems every time you turn around, there's more scum. Got my eye on you. It I used to allow me, it was inside. Got the courage to repeat that slander to my face? Readily. You are a mutant, a freak, a useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. For a relic, I'm pretty darn good with a sword. You know, a cut where you'd bleed to death before you hit the ground. Run out of things to say? Good. Preacher's fierce in the mouth. Put all her at him and his tail slinks between his legs. Come on, people. <laughs> I have balance about you. And that sorceress. Oh, no. You're a fierce one. But you fairness in your eyes. Probably. Need some overripe sheep's feet then. How are we to find a pestilence that changes form? No evil can survive the holy fire. The holy fire enlightens, burns, and cleanses. Behold the flame of grace and mercy. Special fire for you, freak. Nice, slow burning. You'll beg for mercy in all the voices known to you. Like the others in your speech. Do not need to live like you! Help me, kind folk! Please! Hey, 
sudder. We're looting here. Not here for the loot. Interested in the sorceress who lived here. And we're supposed to believe that. Yeah. Most likely I did in some rat trap with the rest of them. Someone's gotta know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Putrid grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you've gotta get there through the sewers, but you've gotta enter them outside of town. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar. Or spot yourself a thief. Follow him. Beggars and thieves gotta pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king? Crown, scepter, and all that? Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. Someone call for me. Wonder why. It's Menger. Temple God! Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, but sir, what's the offence? This is some sorcerer's bitchy shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, majors of all types, are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings. And the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. Small animals. Can't say I'm really interested. I know your trade. Spotted those yellow eyes amidst the rabble in the square right away. Did you notice how much common folk love flames? The eternal fire will consume them all one day, one way or another. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them, Novigrad's no place for your kind. Heard Novigrad was no place for mages. Now you're telling me it's no place for witchers. So who's it a place for? Righteous folk professing the one true faith in the eternal fire. Nothing I can do to you now. But just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error. You'll make a mistake, it's inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it. And when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you. Deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. I've been robbed! Thief! It's a rank. Misery, good folk, and aid a man crippled by misfortune. Where it is, nothing's free in Novigrad. 
Oh, now the one come bursting with questions. Now, where do you folk gain the idea we beggars know everything? I need to see this and I need to find that one who robbed me brother. Fuck if I know. There's this place in Novigrad they call the Putrid Grove. Aye, it's about right. Well, Novigrad's full of nooks and crannies with odd names. Looking to sightsee by a bloody map. Heard men like you frequent this alley. And I've heard they fed you all shit and you smiled and ate it. Now, don't make no offence. Go in peace. Help a poor fellow out. <laughs> oh, don't touch me. How do you find Novigrad? Does it suit you? Oi, Grey Knight. Need a squire. I'm miserable. And hungry. Got my eye on you, white one. These are foul practices. Stop at once. Dancing on a scaffold. Help a poor fellow out. Aid a veteran of the struggle against the Black once. Where do you fight? Angrin early on. In Sidaris last, along the banks of the Pontar. So, help me out. Here. Now you help me. Gotta find the back alley locals call the Putrid Grove. It's important. Don't know naught about no grove, putrid or other. Don't generally care much for orchardry. This is urgent. Leave me be, I don't know. Need some overripe sheep's feet. on a wretched soul. Aid one who laughs or nourishment three days past. All right. Give you a crown. Crown's enough, my lord. When your gut's so empty, it's stuck flat to your spine. Could give you more on one condition. You tell me where you drop your takings for the day. I'd drop them with me lady. Serious trouble if I didn't. I think you take them to the Putrid Grove. As far as I'm concerned, the King of Beggars can stick his crown up his arse, then shove it even deeper with his scepter. But go and get a broken copper for me. You're either pretty damn brave, or just plain stupid. What's he gonna do? Break me legs? Let him. He take his double as a cripple. From what I hear, they'd break your legs just to start. Some coin for me future widow, then. Now tell me where the Putrid Grove is. 
It's the least you could do. I don't know. And believe you me, I don't want to know. God protect. What's your hair lately? Help a poor bloke out. Let us pray to the eternal Just look fire. Freak. That it may grant our Help supplications. Help fellow out. Eternal fire. Hear our prayer. Eternal fire. Hear our prayer. Oi, Grey Knight, need a squire? Take a gander over here. The thinking Now, now. Ah. You. Returning by your pastor. You see right away I've got the best deals this side of the Ponta. Why buy tomorrow what you can buy today? Buys a war veteran. Spare me a crown. Whoa, don't touch me. Over ripe sheep's feet. Damn it, lost my way again. Wow! Whores are more expensive. Eight of the kingfish oh. are been sorted for at least two days. Just got to adjust the good position where they toss the lift overs.
the thing ah, Hold on! See, right away, I've got the best deals this side of the pond. Why the hell are you following me? Just happened to be going where you're going. And how the bloody hell do you know where I'm going? Well, you're not as clever as you think. And I'm not blind. You're on your way to see the King of Beggars. Gonna rob me? Got any plowing idea what a courier is? This gold is from the non-humans. Take it, and you be fucked. I don't want anything from you. Pack her up and kiss my ass. Come on, we can figure something out. Ah, sort of puffter. The game's all so fierce. What the Witcher just wants <laughs> of your gut, he could be. Nosy bugger. Hmm? Yeah, terrible trait. Poking around where I probably shouldn't be, I know. But I gotta find the Putrid Grove. That's a secret place for secret folk doing secret business. And who's to say you're any good at keeping a secret? Me. You have my word. A freak's bilgy gas, not more. How stupid you think I am? Grab the horse, son! Smash the bugger! That's it! Me! Leave him to me! Son of a horse! Bloody hell! No! Easy! Jumpy, are we? Sheathe your steel. Please? Got a simple question. You're gonna give me a simple answer. Where's the putrid grove? In... In Lysol's. Down an alley. Man, guarding the gate. Gotta give him the password. What is the password? Old sows. Farrowed piglets. See? Just gotta make the effort. Since morning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these days, 
hair-brained, all of us. Sick. Sick of it all. Armed ruffians in town. Scandalous. <laughs> Captured and displayed in the side show. Mutants. Blasphemous. Officer, taking a rest from witch hunting. Open up. Who are you and what do you want? Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. A pair of swords. Mutated kill at me things. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Know the password, get him free. Don't know it. Gotta to contribute to the Graves upkeep. Old sows, farrowed piglets. Ah. Welcome to the grove, brother. Convince those knaves on the city council that spells are not needed. Our positively Good. More and more people. About time we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you're sitting ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Atris. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you'd managed to find me, Witcher. Your spies tell you I was looking for the Putrid Grove? My skull would be a home for bottom-feeding river fish if I didn't keep an ear to the ground. And please, Putrid Grove? Ugly name for our cozy little hideout, wouldn't you say? Temple Guard tolerate your little operation. Let's say they appreciate the value of a Novigrad crown. Hmm. Manga doesn't seem like the type that can be bought. Anyone can be bought. But like is true, Manga had cost me a fortune. Luckily, he's got officers, and they're mere mortals. Illnesses catch him at times. Other times, they want to catch a bit of diversion. See, Witcher? I've got plans. Big plans. Far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the City Council? City Council is a puppet troop with the hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we've got a riddit of superstition farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But well, one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove. But it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And my friends. 
but that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because like I can see, well, you clearly need it. Geralt, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very dear to her and had to start anew. Hasn't turned out like I imagined. Come on, let me give you a taste of my life. Sorceress. Come back and see us, eh? Dare say he's the only place to feel welcome. Madam Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. I take it you're in Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman, who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can. Who might know more? Klug. Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes. Somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to! When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this, but they believe me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then dive for my goods into that ice-cold filth? I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. Second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heels. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Turned out, he was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn near went mad. We were lucky this time, but... You'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Klug.
There's a draft. Should be an exit here. Klug wouldn't have sent us here if there wasn't. Must be a lever on this wall that will open the secret passage. city of Novograd. The name actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Muin. Thought they'd be safe from Radovid's reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But Novograd stands on top of a mountain of coin. And winning a war takes three things. Coin, coin, and even more. Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Manga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? Uh, maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. Find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my packet. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. Seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I used them? Come on, six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. Who kisses your ass today will bite it tomorrow. <laughs> 
Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Is that a problem? By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon & Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. All right then. Let's get to work. We need to place these crystals around the granary, near anything that looks rat-related. I'll cover half the space, you take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. Mm-hmm. Thing is, I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like, but rodents? Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting. But they killed my king. Look for crevices. And droppings. Once we place this incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense? Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. Ready? Not yet. Uh-huh. Need something sharpened, reforged. Like you to craft something for me. Think you can? What do you have on offer? So long. Looks like a good spot. I don't like that guy. Brandon, 
I don't either. He's much too fat. Can't help but agree. But no. Notice how he didn't try to haggle? Must really want the rats out. Triss, he's a merchant. He makes his living by haggling. If I worried about that sort of thing, I'd starve to death in this city. fireworks. Once I activate the incense, we'll have a moment to talk. Well, now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound. <laughs> Reconciled? Knew a man once who reacted to everything, especially adversity, by mocking it. Healthy attitude. Must have lived long. Came a day he lost both his legs in battle. He shrugged, said it was better that way. He'd never feel pain in them again. I understand him perfectly. I know. Thing is, he was lying to himself. I think he just didn't have much of a choice. We all lie sometimes, but lying to yourself is running away, whereas there's really nowhere to run. Sometimes you have to escape, just to forget. Your friend might have dwelled on his lost legs, but it's not like by grieving he could have grown another pair. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? She's fine. That's good. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Well, well. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. Such a sharp sense of smell. You should have legged it while you had the chance. I don't generally leg it. Here's what I think you should do. Pay up and march your boys out of here while there's still time. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. I didn't hire a sorceress in order to pay her. Take my advice, mutant. If it's not your business, stay out of it. Thanks for the advice, but I can't take it. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember. I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this poor son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. Looking for a bruise?
Don't kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. Fine. Your coin. Now, get. Thanks, Geralt. You should try to keep better company. He was still better than some mages. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Ciri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareem Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareem's been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. <laughs> it was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now. Before Kareen goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'll be nice. All right. See you later. Hey! Hey, you fucking hey,